Figure just unveiled its newest humanoid robot, Figure 2. We dig into all the details, where this robot fits into an increasingly crowded field of humanoid robots, and what comes next. As you can see, the wires are more tucked away in this model, indicating the company is moving away from the prototyping phase when you might want easy access to different components for fixes and adjustments towards something closer to a production model. Tucking away the wires is a common evolution we've seen in other second generation humanoid robots, including the Tesla bot and Atlas from Boston Dynamics. Six onboard cameras provide the figure two with its view of the world, and hands with 10 fingers and 16 degrees of freedom will have what figure calls, quote, human-like strength. A close-up shot of the hands includes the words max 25 kilograms, which is about 55 pounds. That would be an increase from figure one's carrying capacity of 20 kilograms, or 44 pounds. Figure says improvements to the battery pack, which is built into the robot's torso, extend the robot's original five hour runtime by providing over 50% more energy. Figure also has a partnership with OpenAI, which allows people to converse with the robot via built-in speakers and microphones, much like the conversational feature in ChatGPT's mobile app. The robot's computer vision system allows it to identify objects. What the fun fact, OpenAI also has a system for visual recognition it demonstrated as part of its ChatGPT 4.0 reveal, but Figure hasn't shared whether or not that feature is part of its OpenAI partnership. Figure 2 will have three times the amount of computing power as the previous generation, which the company says, quote, enables real world AI tasks to be performed fully autonomously. That's a lot of jargon, but we can unpack it a bit by looking at the videos Figure has shared of its previous robot. Demos of the figure one reveal the robot is trained in simulation, common in the robotics industry because simulation is faster and simulated spills can't damage the hardware. It also learns by observing humans performing the tasks and then mimicking them, another common technique in robotics training. Put simply, it looks like figure is designed to take voice commands that perform tasks it's been trained to do via simulation and observing human demonstrators. On it, so I gave you the apple because it's the only uh, edible item I could provide you with from the table. Figure has also embarked on a partnership with BMW, figuring out how these robots could be deployed in automobile manufacturing and putting them to the test. In a video demonstration of a possible use case in BMW manufacturing, the robot can be seen picking and placing different parts, even gently correcting some of its mistakes. Like most other humanoid robotics companies, Figure is aiming at the labor market, specifically warehouses. The company's website points to 10 million unfilled jobs in the United States and anxiety among employers that they may be unable to keep them staffed due to high attrition rates. This is an extremely familiar pitch across the humanoid robotics industry. Figure says it aims to have its robots doing jobs that are quote, unsafe or undesirable. Tesla's robots are made for tasks that are quote, unsafe, repetitive, or boring. And Boston Dynamics hit us with that alliteration saying its robots are made for jobs that are quote, dull, dirty, and dangerous. I look forward to seeing demos of the figure two. I would especially like to see it in more real world settings like what Agility Robotics and Boston Dynamics have done with their humanoid robots. What do you think of humanoid robots? Handy helpers or soulless job stealers? Let us know down in the comments. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jesse Oral. See you next time with the fam.